So thanks a lot for your for your speech and for your presence uh, at the conference. I, I'm very energized by the plenty of ideas that were here brought up by so many different speakers, different uh, ideas that uh, I think are going to influence my work. So it was very, very interesting. And uh, I particularly enjoyed the variety of participants, um, which I think is is one of the uh, highlights for me to come to see that the conference attracted so many different people from different areas of um, society and from many different countries. So there was a pleasure. Okay. And if you had uh, recommendations to make for the coming uh, conference for next year, what would they be? Um, um, more time. <laughs> for discussions, I think that would be good. Maybe to break it into smaller sessions, um, so when there is a smaller group of people you can have a close interaction. So not only having everything in plenary, but having some smaller um, workshops and panels. Um, I, I think it was a very good balance overall when I look at the agenda of um, people who comes from speakers who comes from their different backgrounds from policy makers international organizations civil society to people who are coming from academia so i think that was a very nice balance and i i would say that that was one of the success stories for this conference and the last question what would be the lessons you would personally take from the conference, from today's uh, conference, back to your own field of, uh, of duties, uh, back to work? I think um, the discussion about identity and diversity is something, um, because that's my area of uh, work, is something uh, which is very important. What uh, we want to have on equal opportunities and yet in inspired by diversity, respecting the otherness and how to combine it in a way that also addresses the, the big problems of social um, inequalities and, and the this interest of society in European affairs. So I think these big questions are going to really stay in my head for a while.